Hello everyone. Let me introduce you to the term electricity. Have you imagined an hour of darkness in your life? That means no electricity. Yes, you heard me right. We cannot imagine that, can we? Because electricity has become an important part of our life. Let me introduce you to the father of electricity, Michael Faraday. He was the one who found electricity. But what is it? It is a physical phenomena associated with the presence of motion that has the property of electric charge. To know more about electricity, we need to know about atoms. Everything is made up of atoms. Stars, planets, birds, water bodies, even us humans are made up of atoms. If the naked eye could see the atom, it would look like the Bohr's model and similarly like the planetary model next to it with the nucleus in the center which consists of the protons and the neutrons and the electrons orbiting around it. Protons have positive charge and electrons have negative charge. Let us focus on the electrons now. But why? Because electricity is the movement of electrons between the atoms. Electrons usually remain at a constant distance from the atom's nucleus in precise shells. The shell closest to the nucleus can hold up to two electrons. The next can hold up to eight and the outermost shell can hold even more. Some atoms with many protons can have as many as seven shells with the electrons in them. The electron in the shell closest to the nucleus have a strong force of attraction to the protons. Sometimes they don't. Applying a force can shift these electrons from one atom to another. These shifting electrons are electricity. And that's how electricity is obtained. Summarizing everything, when molecules are magnified, we get atoms. The electrons in the atom jump from one atom to the other and this results into electricity. This electricity is further stored by us, transported and used by us in our day-to-day -day life for various activities and purposes such as fans, computers and lamps. This is a simple circuit diagram. As you can see in the first figure, the path of the charge was not completed, that is why the pulp did not glow. But in the second circuit diagram, the path of the charge was completed and the bulb could glow. This is how the electricity works on daily basis. Now let us understand the different sources of electricity. Solar energy, hydropower, wind energy and thermal power are the various sources of electricity. How is electricity transported? We get electricity from our sources. The power plant sets up the voltage for transmission and further it is distributed by the distributing lines. Transformers on the poles step down the voltage before it enters the houses. And that is how we obtain electricity on one click or on one button at our homes. Thank you for watching.